Hey, what's going on, everybody? Student of review. Student of review. Just back at it with another quick video for y'all. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the purchase failure on your Amazon Fire Stick. Again, how to fix the purchase failure on your Amazon Fire Stick. You don't need any credit cards or nothing like that. So make sure to follow me step by step. Let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do, go to Amazon.com. Go to Amazon.com. And you see where it says sign in on the top right? Go ahead and click on sign in. Alright, so uh, once you've clicked on sign in, you see the little circle where it says create account? Go ahead and click on create account. Go ahead and put in your name. Go ahead and put in um, your phone number or email. I recommend putting in the email. And, and go ahead and um, also create a password. And make sure the, the email that you put in, make sure you have access to it. They're going to send you a passcode. Okay, they're going to send you a passcode. So make sure you have access to this email. Alright, so again, go ahead and put in your name, your email that you have access to create a password and go ahead and click on verify email once you've done that go ahead and go into your email and copy and paste the passcode right there where it says enter OTP go ahead and enter your passcode right there and um, click on verify okay so once you click on verify this will pop up you might have a little message right here try the Amazon app we don't care about that we trying to download Cody we trying to download some free movies, right? So go ahead and click on no thanks. We good. We 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 check we check back with y'all later. We good right now. We trying to download some some good old TV shows right now. So click on no thanks. Now you see the three little lines on the top left corner next to Amazon. Go ahead and click on that. The three lines right next to Amazon, top left corner. Go ahead and click on that baby right there. Now what you want to do, you want to you want to scroll down. Scroll down and go ahead and click on your account. All right? Now what you want to do, you want to scroll down and click on your address. Now you what you want to do, click on add a new address. Okay? So once you're on this screen, go ahead and put in your name, your address, your city, your state, zip code and your phone number once you put all of that in um go ahead and click on add new address or save address at the bottom right there okay so now you get to this page go ahead and click on the three little lines again next to amazon the three little line next to amazon go ahead and click on that this will pop up again all right scroll down go ahead and click on your account again scroll down again now what you want to do, you want to click on one click settings. One click settings. Go ahead and click on that. Now you want to enable this feature. So you see that white grayish box right there to the right? The white grayish box? You want to turn that orange. Okay? So go ahead and click on that box. That white grayish box to the right. Go ahead and click on that you want to turn that orange if it's already orange don't worry about it you're all set and just wait for the next step but most likely it's white or gray if you're just starting out click that baby orange once you've done that go ahead and click on the three little lines again next to Amazon go ahead and click on the three little lines again next to Amazon see the three little lines if you don't have the three little lines just go ahead and click on Amazon top left and once you get to the main page of Amazon go ahead and click on the three little lines right to get back to this page and go down scroll down go on and click on your account again and we're we are all actually almost finished here got one more step so go ahead and click on your account all right so now what you want to do you want to scroll down again And now what you want to do, you want to click on one click settings one more time. Go ahead and click on one click settings one more time. 
this is the last step here now here's the key step you see under your address it says make default go ahead and click on make default again go ahead and click on make default alright and that right there is actually the last step you will not see purchase failure anymore um again let's make sure you put make default okay like I just did right there but there are oh yeah also too if you see like a little credit card screen it's okay you don't have it doesn't matter okay you can just go ahead and click on the Amazon uh, home page you don't need all of that okay um but there are two little steps I do want to show you um so if you are downloading uh, certain apps so certain apps won't give you problems okay so let me show you two quick things on your Amazon Fire Stick real quick all right so so hopefully um y'all still here with me so I just want to show y'all two quick things so y'all so y'all won't have any trouble downloading um certain apps uh what you want to do you want to go to your Amazon Fire Stick the home page like this and you want to scroll all the way to the top where it says home live your videos go ahead and scroll up there and you want to go all the way to the right and you want to click on settings go ahead and click on settings now you want to go down and you want to scroll over to my fire tv go ahead and click on my fire tv now what you want to do, you want to scroll down to develop developer options. Go ahead and click on developer options. Now you see where it says ADB debugging. You want to turn that on. Again, you want to turn this on. If it's already on, don't worry about it. Now you want to go down where it says apps from unknown sources. You want to also turn that on. Go ahead and click um, the middle button on your remote to turn it on and it's just going to give you some information go ahead and click on the middle button again to turn it on and if it's already on don't worry about it so now you should be all set um, you can start downloading apps and if you don't know how to download um, downloader you need downloader to, to download certain apps um, check out the link top right corner of this video and I show you how to download the app downloader downloader and with that please like share subscribe um also check out my playlist it's called fire stick for beginners I pretty much show y'all how to download free movies free tv shows um I also have a video on the paid uh IPTV service $22 a month which is really good as well so definitely check out the playlist uh, please leave a like and with that I'm out